To install the mag lock into a socket, there's a slot for the lever. As you can see, it comes with a cap on it. To remove the cap, we simply unscrew it, remove the spring, and that's it. We do not want to disassemble any more. This will void the warranty. So now that we have removed the cap screw from the mag lock, we want to insert it into the socket. Simply place it with the lever sticking out of the slot. Make sure it sits firmly in place. You may want to rotate it so it clears the slot. And go ahead and insert the spring and screw on the cap. When we mount the four hole adapter onto the socket, we want to make sure that we have the correct length screw. There are many different lengths available. We want to have enough screw engagement, so be sure to use the screws that are included in the lock. So here we have the screw that comes with the lock. We have one that's longer and one that's shorter. So if we take these and we just simply insert it into the socket, just to make contact with the threads, we can see how the lengths will vary. So if we check it against the plate and just lay it on the surface, we can see how the medium screw has some length still. The short screw actually is flush and the long screw has quite a bit of length left. So let's go ahead and remove the screws. We're going to go ahead and bolt on this four hole adapter. We're going to use the screws that come with the plate. Thread it in. And just to show you how much extra length that this long screw has, we'll go ahead and screw that in as well. So just for comparison. So we'll snug down these screws. The short screw I know will not bottom out. The issue with the long screw is we don't know if it's bottoming out or if it's actually torquing down. So if we have a screw that is too long and it bottoms out, it can actually damage the lock, which will void the warranty. So I'm being very careful not to just tighten this screw down because if it does bottom out, it could damage the lock. So I'll insert some more of the medium length screws that come with the lock. And what this will do is it'll snug the four hole adapter down onto the socket. Then I can double check and see how this relates to this long screw. As I'm turning it in and out, I'm just trying to feel if it's tightening or if it's bottoming out. It's really hard to distinguish the difference. So I'm going to take it out and put it in with the medium screw that comes with the lock. At least that way I know I can go ahead and torque it down and it will be safe. So here's a picture of what happens if the screw bottoms out. You can see how there's some galling at the bottom and this has damaged the lock. After we've bolted the lock in, we want to make sure that the lever goes smoothly from lock to unlock. So when you activate and deactivate the lock, you'll notice that there's a detent which will keep the lever from moving. When you slide it from the unlock to the lock, it'll go into this little groove and it will keep it from moving. So what you're gonna to have to do is actually press the button down to slide it over to the unlock position. 